Hey guys, and welcome back to the Busmaster 99 YouTube channel. And today, I'm back car spotting in downtown Naperville. Starting off the day with an Audi A6 supercharged. Here we got a pre-facelift Tesla Model S in red. Nice. Audi Q5. That one looked like it's seen better days, so just continue strolling down this way. Got a cop car right there. <laughs> And while I was gone, looks like uh, Naperville installed some heart statues. Interesting. This isn't the only one, just so you know. There's a new 2018 Honda Accord over there. They're very good cars. I test drove the hybrid version, as you saw. Lexus RX 350, brand spanking new Ford F-150 Raptor. The only downside is no V8, but on the other hand, I did hear they're going to be building a bigger Raptor with the seven liter V8. So stay tuned for that. Mercedes C300 right in front of it. Every car on this side, well, starting with the Lexus to the Mercedes, is pretty much nice. If only this was a Jeep Trackhawk. Let's see what we have going on in this slot. We've got a Cadillac XT5 leaving. There's always something interesting in this lot, so that's why I come here. It's a Mitsubishi Lancer with Brembo brakes. It's another Audi A6. BMW 5 Series, previous gen. Let's see. V6 Mustang. Nothing special. Ford Fusion plug-in hybrid. And a Nissan Leaf. No Teslas today, oddly enough. It's a red Jeep Wrangler and a brand new 2018 Buick Enclave. Nice. All right. Hang on a second. So right over there, that's the new Audi A6. There's a GLE right next to the Equinox. The predecessor of the XT5, the SRX. We got a Jeep Grand Cherokee, non-track hawk. And a red GLC with no LEDs. It's another GLE over there. Well, that pretty much does it for this lot. It's another heart statue way down there. Let's see, should I walk back this way? I'm thinking about going this way. I hear something that sounds like a supercar. It could be that 98 NSX that some guy pointed out in the comments 
Thank you, by the way, I couldn't identify that car. BMW Z4 convertible with the three liter straight six. The Cadillac Escalade. It's too bad that these are the most stolen vehicles in America. Another heart statue. I'm gonna try to get over to that side now. Man, I just keep running into these things. All right. Wait for the Malibu. The truck's gonna let me go. Hmm, not really seeing much down here other than a new BMW X1. Those are decent. But I will say, if you have a little extra money to spend, get an X3. I test drove one, and I must say, the technology in it is out of this world. Some borrowed straight from the 7 Series. Okay, so there is one interesting car. There's an Audi in the back. It looks like an A7, judging by the headlights. Yep, I think it's an A7. With tinted windows, too. And it's got a V6, 3 liter. But the one thing I'll never understand is the fact that it says supercharged, but in the back it says 3.0 T, 3.0 yeah, T, implying turbocharged. So is it both? Just kidding, I know it's supercharged. There's a Lincoln MKC, and they do their badges similarly to Audi, but this time I know it's turbocharged. Ooh, the tire hit the curb. At least it wasn't the rim. It's just rubber. It's BMW X3. I'm not sure if I talked about this or not. I probably didn't, though. Now we're going to go down this way. Poor thing. Sounds like it's on its last legs. The Ranger, specifically. Lincoln MKX. With four-wheel drive. And fold-in mirrors. Gotta love it. another heart statue. These things are popping up everywhere. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in this lot. Oh, there is a Range Rover Sport right up there. I think it's brand spanking new, too. It's a BMW X5. It's about to be replaced by the 2019 BMW X5. GLC with LEDs. But anyway, about the new X5, I looked at it, saw the interior, and I saw that BMW like many other luxury car companies, are going to a push-button headlight switch. Just another thing to confuse drivers, but not me. I always figure out how to work these things. And it's funny because uh, Buick used to do a push-button headlight switch on the LeSabre. My grandma had one before the Subaru Legacy. 
and the way that works is it does have an auto feature and that auto feature is controlled by a lever to the left of the push button headlight controls then you have a button for parking lights and a button for lights on and to turn off the auto lights you have to be in park and then you push the lever all the way down to the off position that is to the left of the light buttons and to turn the lights uh, off if you've manually activated them you just push the button that you've pushed again whereas with the new push button headlight controls you don't push it again there is actually an off button you push on the BMWs anyway for Porsche you have four buttons you have auto parking lights lights on and rear fog lights that's at least for the Panamera and the new 2019 Cayenne and then Audi they're doing a one-touch headlight switch um, if you go back to my video where I did an inside look at the Lamborghini Urus you'll see what I'm talking about it's a one-touch headlight control to go between on auto parking lights and off and then you have two more buttons for the fog lights um, but to turn the auto lights off in a Porsche, you have to push and hold the parking lights button for two seconds. So yeah, it's kind of weird how car companies are going to push button headlight switches. But enough off topic chit chat, I'm going to get back to the car spotting. And over there, it's not one, but two almost identical Ford Edges. One's a Sport and the other's a Titanium. They're the same color, but one has an Illinois plate and the other does not, interestingly enough. That over there is a debadged E350 or 550. It's another Cadillac Escalade. Well, I was just starting to walk back to the mouse mobile and look. The sidewalk is closed, so I gotta cross the street now. <laughs> Damn it. Oh well, more than one way to skin a cat. G-Wagon. Nice. With a matte finish. My friend Audrey will love that. She loves G-Wagons. There's another, there's another XT5. And that is an A8 back there. I think I've filmed that one a few times before. All right. Two, two more heart statues, one there and one right in front of me. Interesting. Sweet. Chicago Avenue. And there's the mouse mobile right behind the no flex zone flex. So that pretty much wraps up today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Stay tuned for more. And I look forward to seeing you on the next upload. Take care, y'all.